my slide batch users, welcome back. As you recall in the last lesson, we learned how to set up our homepage. And here we have our beautiful showcase of a border collie bell, a description of what our homepage is about. In this case, everything you need to know to raise a happy and healthy border collie. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to learn how to add our batches. First thing to do to add a batch is either click on this red plus button at the bottom or the rectangular button, create a batch now. I'm going to title this one, how to train a border Holly, not to bark. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and make this public. I'd like to share it with anyone, and you can choose where to publish it at. Um, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and publish it in the general area. And I'm going to create my batch by clicking the blue rectangle at the bottom. Okay, so what I've just done was created a batch, which is a specific piece of information that is inside my home page. So, um, in a similar manner that we set up the home page, we're going to set up this batch. Uh, we have the title here How to Train a Border Collie Not to Bark. I'm going to click on the settings button at the bottom right. And I want to put in a showcase and cover an image. This is the most important part for me. Um, let's search the web and see what kind of showcase or cover image we could find. Hmm, that didn't work. How about um, Border Collie barking? Because we're going to train them how not to bark. Okay, I think this is a pretty decent one right here. Let's go ahead and select it. Give it just a few seconds to process. Very similarly is what we had done in the home page setup. All right. There we go. It just took a second. How to train a border collie not to bark. So, the content that we're gonna have in here, within this batch, we are going to have several, and the best part about Slide Batch is that it could be videos, a link to a website, you could upload a PDF, a document, anything that you deem would help the user for this specific batch on how to train a border collie not to bark. So let's go ahead and add some content. I'd first like to take a look at what videos are available. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and search the web by clicking on the search button. And I'm gonna look up training video on not to bark or collie. Let's see what the results we have here. Oh, all right, so notice that uh, the last thing I was looking at were images. In each batch, you can either upload a link to a website, the latest news from a link to a website about border collies and not barking, video training videos, or just images. In this case, I like to start with videos. I think videos are the best way to learn a few of these things. So, um, <laughs> the best part about curating is you would have to go through the videos to see which ones are the best one. This looks like it's titled How to Stop Barking. I'm gonna go ahead and take click on that. So before I add this into my batch, I'm able to actually preview it.
In my last video, you told me that you needed help so with seen unwanted barking. Before, I think For those of you watching job. now, does your dog bark or did you say that you pretty much have it under control? This video Consider sharing on how to train your border collie not to bark. Here's another one right here. I'm going to preview it quickly. I think it looks good. I'll go ahead and add it to my batch. Let's just scroll down a little bit more and see what kind of results we have. Um, you can see some of the things um, may not be specific to what I need here. Um, such as just training your border collie in general, um, a documentary on intelligent working dog border collie. These things are not relevant specific to our batch, but we've got a couple of things in there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out for now and show you what looks like what we have. Okay, so here's our batch, How to Train a Border Collie Not to Bark. And we've added two videos, which uh, anyone can access to take a look. The best thing about this is that you have vetted the information out there, the content overload and the internet, and you've decided that these two are really good ones for this specific batch. So let's go ahead and add some more to this batch by clicking the red button. This time, instead of um, searching for videos, I like to go ahead and search for specific links to websites. Not to bark. All right, let's go to the websites in this case. All right, um, as I said before, you can click on them and preview them. I'll show you what that may look like. How to train your dog not to bark. Let's look at the preview. It takes you out to the website. If this is something that you think you want to add. Then you simply go back to your hub and you add it. All right, let's go ahead and close this menu. I also want to um, show you one other way to add a link. Let's say you happen to be searching the web for how to teach your dog not to bark. And um, you were looking at a few places and you found a website that you thought is a good one on how to teach your dog not to bark. You simply copy the URL. And I do this by um, pressing um, Control C on my keyboard as an easy way. Going back to my hub, adding my information. This time I click on the link and I control V or paste the URL. And this is another way to add items into your batch. Okay, let's go ahead and refresh our site because it looks like some of the information is still processing. Here we go. So um, not only do we have the videos we had looked for earlier, we have um, a link to a website. This one still seems to be processing here. I'm sure it'll finish in just a moment. Let's go ahead and refresh it one more time. Um, we'll just leave that for now, but you can populate your hub with a variety of batches. This is just one specific batch. So let's go ahead and go back to
your hub, which is all about Border Collies. So someone comes to your homepage, they see what you're about, they scroll down, and they take a look at your very first batch, which is beautifully um, decorated with a showcase image. And all they have to do is just click on that batch and it explains, and there's information in there regarding how to teach your border collie not to bark. So in this similar manner, you can add a variety of batches for your needs. Okay, that's all we have for this lesson, and we'll see you soon.